there's my awesome hardened automatic turret lathe. Hey, 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 Parchute. A little sluggish when it just when she just starts up. So I'm making a tiny little 832 jam nut for Model T Ford. <laughs> Got a brass hex stock. It's facing the part. Now it's drilling the part. Part shoot and parting tool. I'm not using too many of the stations. It's a simple part. Index blank turret spaces. Bar stop and there we go. Start again. Spotting drill. Facing. These, these machines are pretty easy to set up. It took me about a half a day to set it up for this job. The next job is tapping the nuts. These are just blanks. They're untapped. I can show you how that gets done in the next the next one. No, okay, so here's my uh, small uh, lathe that I'm going to uh, save this lathe from a basement in New Hampshire. So the problem with these parts is that they're so small, it's actually really hard to like handle them, these little nuts. So here's how I tap them. This is some old school technology and I won't do that many well, I got them on this little little thing here and then I kind of work them on this work them onto this tool here this holder there we are now withdraw my mandrel and with some kind of tool just make sure they're they're flat okay so there's my holder for all the nuts and here's my nut tap I couldn't find any of these nut taps in the US so I found one uh, in Australia thank thank God somebody had one because making those long taps is kind of Expensive. I've had to do it. Am I, am I gonna hit? Oh wait, I'm almost gonna hit the stand. Okay. So there are my parts. We start rotating the tap, and we slowly, gently ease them on at the right speed. You don't want to drive drive them on too hard because you'll strip the threads. Being it soft brass, there we are. See that? Look at that. Make sure there's no chips in the holder because that'll foul it up. So then you just release the collet. And there's all your tap nuts. That's how it's done. Pretty neat, eh? <laughs>